Okay, so here is the main screen of the Unraid software. So here you can uh, see the control of what was happening in the uh, Unraid server downstairs. So I'm just going to flip this around and see what we can see here. This is the, uh, the main screen and we'll see if we can zoom in down here. And You can see that there's 18 terabytes available. It's because it reserves one of the two terabyte drives as a parity drive. So in case a drive dies, you have um, you have redundancy. You can go back, pull out the failed drive, and it will uh, repopulate with the data from the parity drive. So right now in here are 10 drives in total, 9 are usable, and that is uh, 18 terabytes of storage. And then down here you can see the flash drive that Unraid runs on, because Unraid, the operating system, actually runs off of a USB key, which is great because you don't have to, have to waste one of your drive bays with the operating system. And right below that you see the um, the Seagate drive that we showed you before, that was the uh, the 500 gig drive, and that is the thing that does all the processing, the extra drive, as we call it. And up here you can see that um, because I swapped everything over, I did a parity check. Um, that basically runs through all the drives, makes sure all the data is valid. And here you can see that it's got uh, about, oh, five hours remaining. So it's a long process. but. Pretty much everything can be controlled from this screen, uh, but you really don't have to go into it. Once it's up and running, it's pretty much good to go. So that's the Unraid server setup.